preparing for June 1st, 2024 fight card, Queensbury versus Matchroom, five versus five. We're gonna take another look at the rules and the next fight on the card to be featured on this video and what we can expect. Let's take another look at five versus five, part two. The five versus five, Queensberry versus Matron boxing card slash tournament is gonna to be a first of its kind affair where we see two promotional companies pit five of their best fighters against one another. And this time, when you talk about what is at the depth of this competitive card, we're gonna see that the rules are going to be a little bit different. The scoring will be as such, one point for a decision win, two points for a KO or TKO win, and eight point, zero points for a draw. No points at all for a draw, and the captains of the teams will receive double points for their victories. Now, as Frank Warren enters with his five, he's got two heavyweights, one light heavyweight, a featherweight, and a middleweight. This is going to be something that we haven't seen before but it's going to be interesting how the men pull things off. The names of Dubois, Shiraz, Hutchison, Ball, and Shiraz. We, what we're going to see, I'm sorry, and Zili Zhang. What we're going to see is men who are coming into this situation and having incentive to do well, to prevail, and to move forward in their careers. On the other side of Matchroom, Hearn is bringing in heavyweights Deontay Wilder, Philippe Hergovic, and he's bringing in Craig Richards as a light heavyweight, Austin Williams as the middleweight, and then we have Raymond Ford, featherweight champion. Now, the five that Hearn has Deontay Wilder was a wild card pick for him because he had an assortment of heavyweights he could have chosen from and then they let him know that he could go out and find someone if none of the fighters in his normal stable were either ready or prepared for this particular card. And he enlisted the services of Deontay Wilder. Now. The fight that we're featuring in this video, part two, we're going to talk about Shiraz versus Emma Williams. An interesting middleweight fight. Shiraz is six foot three. Emma is uh, six foot. And Shiraz is an orthodox fighter where Emma Williams is a southpaw. This is going to be interesting for Williams because he has been known to be a little wild and wide open when he participates in his fights. 
Shiraz is a prospect slash contender who's been coming along very strongly for the uh, Queensberry promotions. And what I've noticed about him is his wiry frame, he punches very well, his technique is solid, and he may be able to exploit the w openings that Williams presents. Williams can be a little erratic at times as well. So when you tune in for the five versus five, know that each bout is competitive, but also there are question marks with each card. I'm, I'm sorry, with each fight, because you just don't know the pressure that these men will be under to perform as a team. This is almost like a little mini Olympic type gold medal situation and it could prove to be very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. The Shiraz Williams bout in particular because whomever wins that will be definitely setting themselves forward in place for a title shot. What do you think? This is part two. We'll have three more to talk about the rest of the fights and fighters on this card. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know your thoughts. Peace to everyone out there, and everyone please remain safe.